looky, looky what I got. A C Reality CR10 printer. 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters. It was a bit of a challenge getting this. I, for example, don't know where it came from. <laughs> um, I don't know if it came, I doubt it came from Tiny Machines because that's an expensive one. Um, I don't know if it came from Gearbest. I don't know if it came from Hicktop. Uh, Hicktop typically is blue. Gearbest is orange. I actually ordered one from Gearbest because I wanted the orange. I know, dumb reason. But they were also the cheapest, but I wanted orange. This has no color. Um, I, get, I guess I didn't realize that it was just something that goes into these slots. I thought it was actually the paint pick the printer was painted but obviously it's not <laughs> I'm guessing there was because I noticed that there were um, there was multiple stripes that just happened to align with these V-rail slots in the 2040 rails here so I'm guessing there is some kind of an insert that they put in here to give it the color so if anybody knows where I can buy that or if it's, is, it, is there any point I guess if it's more than a couple dollars it's not worth it but um, I bought this on Craigslist because my printer I ordered from Gearbest never showed up. It got marked as delivered, but not here. And I got tired of waiting. I eventually want two of them anyway. Um, so I bought another one while I wait for my issue to be resolved from Gearbest to find out where my printer went. But anyway, I'm going to post this review of this printer. Or the, uh, it, it came in a box like this. I, I think it's new. I mean, I don't see any usage on it. Uh, there, I don't see any um, filament whatsoever in the print head. The print head seems to be clean, so I don't think it was used. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the original tape the glass plate comes with. It's even still got the plastic on here. It's always satisfying to remove that. Um, this box of goodies is still sealed. I'm assuming this is it's got all the tools and everything in it to bolts to finish putting this together. So I don't know. I got it in a big box, but it didn't have the foam cutouts for everything like it does. So I'm guessing it was not the original box. Hopefully it works. <laughs> uh, not exactly any returns when you buy them off Craigslist. This is, so they already tightened this, I guess, because there's no wobble whatsoever in this. So the concentric bolts underneath here I clearly were already tightened. Let me flip it over here. There is um, no wobble in that at all. It's nice and smooth, so it looks like those were already tightened. I'm going to get busy assembling this and let's see what happens. Okay, here's the contents of the little box. The sample PLA, the spool holder, extra piece of Bowden. These are the brackets for the gantry, nozzle and Bowden bits, um, tools, USB cable, USB reader, 8 gigabyte card in there. It's orange. Hey, I like orange. <laughs> um, pair of snips. Scraper. I'm guessing this is a nozzle cleaner for cleaning out a clogged nozzle. Maybe. I can't think of anything else you'd do with that. USB cable and some zip ties. So we shall continue as I begin the assembly. And this is definitely a US machine. Comes with a US plug. I wonder, did they set the power already? And it looks like it's actually it's set for 220. So maybe nobody ever plugged this in. Maybe it is brand new. They claimed it was brand new, but we'll see. And I guess it probably is. I mean, it's set for 220. A lot of this stuff is still sealed. This still had the plastic wrap around it. And I see no evidence of PLA or any kind of filament in the nozzle. I don't see any evidence of wear on the V-rail wheels, which I know wear over time. So maybe I did get a brand new one. Ooh, don't want that to fall into my screen. <laughs> watching a remote video so we shall continue okay all the bits seem to be here that's the four bolts to install the gantry I already got the spool holder installed the 
these are the two T-blocks for the ends when the gantry goes on. I believe these are all extra parts. Um, here's all the tools. Looks like extra bone and nozzle. All the Allen keys, ball and Allen keys, nice ones. A couple of wrenches, screwdriver, tape. So now it looks like the next step is to... I couldn't read anything off the SD card. It kept saying invalid format or syntax. But once I copied the file to the hard drive, then I could. I'm guessing that it has something to do with the Asian characters in the file folder names that the operating system had trouble dealing with. And once I copied them off the memory card, they were no longer in one of those unusual character file names. Um, at first I thought, oh, I have an Hicktop one, because it showed a blue printer. But then, um, I noticed in other pictures it shows an orange printer. So I guess you can get either one from either company. So the color doesn't tell me anything, and the lack of a color doesn't tell me anything. So if anybody knows how, the, I'm guessing there is no way to tell whether this came from Gearbest or Hicktop or... Time Machines, well, actually Time Machines probably has a custom firmware, which this won't have, most likely. If anybody knows how to tell, let me know. But I will continue with the assembly. Most of you have probably seen this already if you've watched other videos, but um, I thought this was pretty neat. I got the gantry installed. I was actually impressed with the quality of the machining. I was able to, the two bolts on the bottom, I was able to turn them all the way in by hand until my fingers couldn't turn them anymore because they went inside of the groove, and then I tightened them up with the included Allen keys. So I was impressed by that. They were clean threads and they smooth. Then this bracket, it's interesting how you put this on. This is the other side, but it's the same thing. You basically turn these straight like this, and you turn these horizontal like this, and you just pop it on. And as you tighten these, these turn sideways, locking into the grooves in the um, slots. That's freaking genius I mean that's really cool I'm wondering if I can use that type of thing for my rockets I really really like the way that works we use rails like this to guide rockets off the launch pad too it's pretty neat alright so now I'm going to install this one on the other side and we shall continue with the build this thing really is huge Look how big this thing is. <laughs> and to think, I intend to extend this another um, 300 millimeters. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Well, there it is. It's ready to go. I've loaded the filament. I've leveled the bed. The initial leveling. And um, I really, really like the flat profile springs they use in this bed. I want to find out where to get more of these springs. I want to put those springs in all my printers. They're, the, they have, they're flat, not round. So they don't tend to want to do this when you compress them, like they do on the Wanhao, which is why you have to print the spring cups to keep the spring straight. Um, these, you don't need that. They, they're flat, so they tend to stay straight. More like a slinky than a spring. Or as, uh, what's that guy on YouTube about? Slingo. <laughs> So it's now warm enough to print the um, cat file that's built into the printer. I guess it's heating the bed first. Yeah, it's heating the bed first. And we shall come back. I'm using the filament that came with it. We'll see how that goes. And we will go from there. Well, here it comes. The first print. I had to tweak the bed level a little more. I think it still needs a little tweaking. But it's coming along enough that I can print. It's printing the cat file now. And I will make another video after a couple prints. So there you have it. Uh, it took me about an hour, but that was mostly stopping to record videos, watching YouTube and stuff like that. I bet you if you just had a big table and sat down and built this, you could do it in less than 20 minutes. I mean, it was literally four screws to put the gantry in. Um, tighten up four screws on each end, two screws in there, screw that in, plug the two cables in, and then plug the sets of cables into the motors and Z-stops. That's it. It's that easy. It's 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 as easy to put together as the one on the Beater i3. It's basically pre-assembled. You just connect the parts together. Very impressive.
we shall see how it prints.